Spicy Medtech here, and this will be the second part of my three-part series on different recalls and must-knows for the Medical Technology Licensure Exam. And in this video, I will be covering Clinical Microscopy and Hematology. Let's begin. Number 1. This cell is also known as a Turk cell. A. A typical lymphocyte. B. Smudge cell. C. Mott cell. Or D. Cesare cell. So, answer po natin dito sa number 1 ay letter A, a typical lymphocyte. So, ang atypical lymphocyte ay isang non-malignant leukocyte that results from the interaction of lymphocytes to an antigen. We can also call it a downy cell. Yung other name ng smudge cell naman is ang basket cell. Another name ng moth cells are grape cells or flame cells. At yung cesare cells naman po ay lymphocytes na may cerebriform na nucleus which is observed in multiple myeloma. Number 2. In the FAB classification of AML, this is also known as Schilling's leukemia. A. M4 B. M5 C. M6 D. M7 So, answer po natin dito sa number 2 ay letter B, M5. So, M5 is also known as Schilling's leukemia. M4 naman po is known as Negley leukemia. M6 is known as the Guglielmus syndrome or erythroleukemia. And M7 is known as your megakaryocytic leukemia. Number 3. Which of the following is an autosomal dominant disorder caused by the mutation of the FBN1 gene which encodes fibrillin, resulting in connective tissue abnormalities and bleeding risks? A. Osteogenesis imperfecta B. Ehlers-Danlos syndrome C. Marfan syndrome or D. Amyloidosis So, answer po natin dito sa number 3 ay letter C. Marfan syndrome Letter A, osteogenesis imperfecta, is a defect in the gene that codes for type 1 collagen. Letter B, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, is an autosomal disorder that involves defects in various genes that leads to fragile skin and abnormalities in collagen in blood vessel walls. Letter D naman, ang amyloidosis, is caused by the deposition of amyloid protein around blood vessels resulting into fragile blood vessels. Number 4, this method of direct platelet counting involves the use of 1% ammonium oxalate as a diluent and phase contrast microscopy. A. Rees Ecker B. Guy and Leak C. Both A and B D. Brecker Cronkite So, answer po natin dito sa number 4 ay letter D. Brecker Cronkite method. So, ang letter A, ang Rees Ecker method ay gumagamit ng sodium citrate and light microscopy. Ang letter B, guy and leak, ay gumagamit naman ng sodium oxalate as well as light microscopy for platelet counting. Number 5. In the Rumpoli test, what is the grading for the presence of 23 petechial spots? A. 1 plus B. 2 plus C. 3 plus D. 4 plus So, answer po natin dito sa number 5 ay letter C, 3+. Plus. So, ang Rumpelid test, also called the tourniquet test, is used to measure capillary fragility by the application of pressure. 0 to 10 petechiae indicates a 1 plus grading. 10 to 20 is 2 plus. 20 to 50 is 3 plus. And greater than 50 petechiae would garner a grading of 4 plus. Number 6. What is the treatment for Von Willebrand's disease? A. Desmosprosin B. Vasopressin C. Digoxin or D. Heparin So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 6 ay letter A. Desmopressin So, desmopressin is a synthetic hormone that stimulates the release of more Von Willebrand factor from the blood vessels. Letter B. Vasopressin is another name for the antidiuretic hormone. Letter C, 
digoxin is a cardioactive drug, and letter D, heparin is a naturally synthesized anticoagulant. Number 7. Which area of a platelet contains actin and myosin? A. Peripheral zone B. Solgel zone C. Organelle zone or D. Membranous system So answer po natin dito sa number 7 ay letter B, ang solgel zone. So ang solgel zone is where we find the microfilaments actin and myosin and even microtubules. So kapag ang platelets must stimulate, actin and myosin will interact to form actomyosin which is a contractile protein important in clot retraction. Number 8. Which of the following is read at 40 seconds on the urine dipstick test? A. Protein B. Glucose C. Ketone D. Leukocyte esterase So, answer po natin dito sa number 8 ay letter C. Ketones So, on the dipstick urine tests, yung protein is read after 60 seconds along with pH, blood, urobilinogen, and nitrite. Ang glucose is 30 seconds along with bilirubin. And ang leukocyte is read after the longest time at 120 seconds. Number 9. It is considered as an uneven distribution of blood in the pleural fluid. A. Hemorrhagic effusion B. Hemothorax C. Both A and B or D. None of the above So, answer po natin dito sa number 9 ay letter B, hemothorax, which has an uneven distribution as compared to hemorrhagic effusion. So, in order to differentiate, we can use hematocrit as a guideline. A pleural fluid hematocrit greater than 50% of whole blood hematocrit originates from a hemothorax, while hematocrit less than 50% originates from a hemorrhagic effusion. Number 10, in gastric fluid collection, which tube passes through the mouth? A. Rifus tube B. Levine tube C. None of the above or D. All of the above So this is just a basic recall with not much to explain. The Rifus tube passes through the mouth for gastric fluid collection while the Levine tube passes through the nose. Number 11. The following lab results for synovial fluid are consistent with The color would be cloudy yellow-green Neutrophils are greater than 75% Glucose is decreased And a WBC count of 79,000 microliter A. Inflammatory immunologic B. Hemorrhagic C. Septic Or D. Non-inflammatory so answer po natin dito sa number 11 ay letter C, septic. So to make things easy, most if not all conditions with a synovial fluid that exceeds 75,000 microliters are consistent with septic and crystal-induced inflammatory. The next thing we should look at is if the neutral percentage is higher than 75%. If it is higher than 75%, it is consistent with septic. If possible and given, septic synovial fluid will present with a positive gram stain and culture and sensitivity and is known for its distinct yellow-green color. Number 12. Which of the following conditions would have a decrease in alpha fetoprotein? A. Spina bifida B. Down syndrome C. Anencephaly or D. None of the above So answer po natin dito sa number 12 ay letter B, Down Syndrome. So alpha fetoprotein is increased in neural tube conditions, while in Down Syndrome, it is decreased, which can be due to the reduction in the level of alpha fetoprotein synthesis or the production of an altered alpha fetoprotein molecule. Number 13, the following cause oligoclonal banding on gamma regions for CSF only except A, neurosyphilis, B. Guillain-Barré syndrome C. Multiple sclerosis or D. 
multiple myeloma. So, answer po natin dito sa number 13 ay letter D, multiple myeloma. So, the acronym we have to remember for conditions with CSF exclusive oligoclonal bands is MISNEG or multiple sclerosis, neurosyphilis, encephalitis, neoplastic disorders, and Guillain-Barre syndrome. Number 14. The most common clearance test for GFR. A. Inulin clearance test. B. Creatinine clearance test. C. Cystine C. D. Radioisotopes. So, answer po natin dito sa number 14 ay letter B. Creatinine clearance test due to its simplistic and inexpensive nature. However, the gold standard for GFR determination would be the inulin's clearance test. Cystatin C is the indirect estimate of GFR, while radioisotopes is used to measure the viability of transplanted kidneys. Number 15. What is the second most prevalent CSF protein? A. IgM B. Albumin C. Prealbumin or D. Fibrinogen So, answer po natin dito sa number 15 ay letter C, prealbumin. So, ito po yung second most prevalent protein in CSF. While ang albumin naman ang most prevalent. IgM in CSF cannot be because it is not present along with fibrinogen and lipids in the CSF. So, that would be all. For the next episode, I will be doing must nose and recalls for histopathology, blood banking, and immunoserology. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Study smart and God bless.